Natalie has grown so much over the years that she's been on the One Life to Live canvas. What stood out the most to you in her growth? Um, you know, it's interesting. I, you know, I feel like Natalie hasn't changed, yet she has. You know what I mean? Like, she still has so much from her past. You know, she still reverts back to her roots quite a bit. Yeah. Yet, um, but she's matured. You know, she really has. And she's learned a lot through being, you know, and discovering her family and being around these wonderful people who've who've taught her a lot and maybe how to have a little more patience and what have you. But it's interesting when things get really complicated, um, she tends to go back, but that's kind of what we all do. We go back to old habits when we're in, you know, when we're in a tizzy. Yeah. And um, I don't know, I think that makes her relatable and exciting and fun. I mean, it's completely understandable when occasionally she needs to hit her twin sister and Hello. make some low blows. I mean, who doesn't want to hit their twin every once in a while? I mean, you know, <laughs> just kidding. You're like, no Maybe. offense to twins out there. Yeah. <laughs> How are things going for Natalie's love life and what you're currently filming? So, um, right now, Natalie's love life is interesting. Um, I don't want to give away a lot, but what I can say is that there's a lot of hope for a possibility of her getting what she wants in her love life, finally. If she and John have had probably more missed opportunities. I know, right? I feel like than any other couple in One Life to Live, at least in the past decade, they keep having those so close to almost being there. So close, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. is that what you want for her when the era ends on ABC? Do you want her to find that happiness? For I would James? love that. Yes, I would love. I would love that because, a, it would just it'd be such a great tribute to the John Natalie fans who have been so so incredibly supportive. Not to mention, I mean, it's it's a great love story. Of course, I want to see a happy ending, you know. And I mean, I know it's going to continue on. Right. But I would. I think it'd be really cool to see that. Um, but I can't tell you how. It's I don't, uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we want the yeah, teasing, yeah. not the flat out Yeah. I mean, they've got a baby, too. The, the cutest baby. Oh, my baby. God. Is that baby not the most gorgeous baby? Big one. Ad adorable. Like, yeah. I don't know how you guys get work done with him in the scenes. I know. But he's so good, too. That's what's so cool about it. Like, he's not just gorgeous. He's actually really good. And I always tell him, even when he, even when he cries... And I'm not, like, a big kid person, but when this baby cries, I'm like, uh, you know? <laughs> Either he's acting in the scene, I've decided... Because yeah. it might be because we're all upset. And I'm like, I don't blame him. He should be upset because we're all upset. Um, or it's, you know, I'm like, the poor kid. Come on. It's been working all day. He's got lights on him. He's tired. Yeah. And he's wearing, like, a coat. And it's, yeah. you know, 100 degrees in here. You know? Yeah. That, so, yeah. Now, uh, no, I think that kid is, uh, mm, he's adorable. Yeah. Adorable. And I want his eyelashes. I'm just putting <laughs> it out there. Just putting it out like, there. Like, magical genie, make this happen. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if he's my kid, why can't I have the eyelashes? <laughs> <laughs> Something to talk to the costuming or makeup department about, like, can't we make this happen to make it yeah, more right? believable? Yeah. Yeah. Was there ever any doubt in your mind that you would sign on to Prospect Park? Um, well, honestly, I think, you know, I, I think for anybody, you, you want to find out information first. Yeah. You want to talk to people. And, um, you know, once I heard what they wanted to do, I was, I'm very excited. I think this is going to be a really great transition. Um, I, think, I think it's going to be really fun and exciting. Do you want do you want her ABC journey to kind of end on a cliffhanger? Um, you know, I don't I don't know. I, I I'm I'm not even sure exactly what's going to happen. I'm totally being honest. <laughs> um, I know a little bit, but yeah. um, yeah. I mean, however, however they want to do it, because I'm sure they're going to do it great. Um, and there's going to be so many different stories that they have to tie up cliffhang. Da da da. So um, however they want to do it, because I don't know it's going to be great. I'm excited. Well, how was doing that big cast photo today? I mean, I, oh, I know it was cool. You have the whole cast there. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, it's it's funny because it, it can get every once in a while very melancholy, you know. And and as we get closer and closer to the end of taping, it's like, oh wow, this is actually becoming more of a reality, you know. Yeah. Um, like today, I was doing scenes um, uh, with JP, and I was thinking. Well, I'm really gonna miss him, you know. <laughs> like, yeah. it's a big—we're a big family, and there's gonna be a lot of people that um, I'm gonna miss.